Um, and that's actually usually pretty fun, um, just watching 475 boxes in whatever room you're in is usually a, a ridiculous sight. I actually suffer from claustrophobia, so the idea of having an entire window, in fact room, blocked out by boxes was almost terrifying, but I persevered. Uh, you know, I feel as though, even though these boxes are free, uh, at a time of great economic hardship, there are many people, many homeless individuals who are going boxless. Our school spirit here is different just because, you know, it's obviously a place like George, you know, it's a much bigger school, it's different atmosphere. School spirit is not very high at this school. American University school spirit is pretty much non-existent. Um, I went to one basketball game and one volleyball game and after halftime everybody left, so... To be honest, for most of the games we could sometimes be the only ones here and we're definitely the most vocal. We tell them it's a part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed, but it's kind of hard for a student to understand what does that actually mean. And maybe by showing them the species or showing them all of the wetland plants that are out here, it'll really create a connection between um, those students and wanting to help the health of the Chesapeake Bay. Okay, what else did you have besides wood? Oh. What was your next most abundant? Oh. Plastic, oh. styrofoam, oh. and glass. I'll be laying in a Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. La ikraha fi din Fakat bayya nurushdu min al-ghayy Famayakfir bitta'u There really is no formal ordination process for an imam. In some of the American mosques, for example, uh, it's the practice to rotate who leads the prayers from one week to another. Um, we have different imams that come. Dr. Ahmed is like I think this year he's like our imam, like, like the person that we can really go to to consult him for anything, advice, whatever. My PhD, which I received back in 1975, was in astrophysics. And uh, I worked as a, I was a working scientist for many years. Those hundred-year-old buildings are being preserved, but the others are not so lucky. The three buildings, uh, Congressional, Constitution, Federal, those three will be demolished. And some of Tenley's neighbors are worried the law school might make traffic worse. It's already a very trafficy area. It's not going to help, I can tell you that much. The Yellow Jackets rallied late, but Jeff Jones and the Eagles held on for a 62-61 win. The Eagles don't play again until next Friday night when they travel to Richmond University. The Spiders were one of the Cinderella stories of last year's NCAA tournament, a place the Eagles hope to find themselves at the end of this year. Back at GW, the students still feel safe, even without any strict security. Yeah, it would probably be safer, but I just feel like this is such a good neighborhood anyway that it doesn't really bother me. That expired Sunday night, but the tent city had not moved on Monday morning, and the police were nowhere in sight. They told us don't occupy the square. They said don't put up tents. They said don't serve hot food. They said, and we've done, we've violated every taboo they've given us for three days. Four women have accused Kane of harassment from his days at the National Restaurant Association. Despite the scandal, he is still leading most re Republican presidential polls. The Kane campaign says donations have also increased as a result of the bad press. The National Cathedral held their first service in three months yesterday. Officials closed the cathedral in August after a 5.8 magnitude earthquake shook the city. The historic church spent about $15 million to repair damages from the quake. Unfortunately for the cathedral, these damages are not covered by their insurance policy. 
it's something that people want to be engaged with because I think once somebody comes back to campus, whether it be an alum or someone who lives in the neighborhood or a faculty or staff member at the end of their day comes out to Bender Arena and sees um, these talented students and coaches uh, competing for the university and then also all the fun things that we try to do in and around the game to engage them, uh, I feel like they're going to come back. For District Wire News, I'm Zach Drescher. <laughs>